I am Saravanan, Dean of Computer Science and Engineering School at VAT Vellur. We offer many programs at a bachelor's, master's, doctoral and postdoctoral level in Computer Science and Engineering. If you look at the bachelor's degree program, we offer Computer Science and Engineering five or four year degree program and also some more specializations in Computer Science and Engineering like Information Security, Bioinformatics, Big Data, Data Science, IoT and Blockchain Technologies at the master's degree level. We are offering computer science and engineering and also some more specialization programs in CAC such as big data analytics, information security, artificial intelligence and machine learning. And also we offer five year integrated program at MTech level uh, in computer science and engineering with specialization in data science. We do have the research degree programs such as MTech by research. PhD in CAC areas. We also offer the programs in collaboration with IT industries. For example, BTEC Computer Science and Engineering and Business Systems is offered in collaboration with Tata Consultancy Services. As a uh, part of uh, the Computational Intelligence uh, Department, so that MTech CAC 5 years integrated program, it is a child program for us because we are doing first time we are doing with uh, industry and it is a full stack developers. The idea is it is a industry hot area. So this from first year we are going to train the students on uh, uh, full stack developers it is uh, th through VI uh, Virtusa. The Virtusa is supporting us for uh, curriculum development, syllabus making, and train the faculty members, train the students and giving internships. I am Balaji Srinivasan. I head the application and platform engineering capability as far as Virtusa is concerned. As far as Virtusa is concerned and especially my application and platform engineering capability is concerned, we have a center of excellence that is running in VIT. The management is so cooperative enough to work with us from the first year itself where we have given the syllabus and also work continuously through workshops and our architects and uh, industry leaders coming and talking to the students and keeping them engaged and that is one of the open uh, invitations that we always have from VIT uh, to come interact with the students work with them and nurture them and uh, as an organization and a capability center head uh, who is uh, who is focused on bringing up quality uh, people into the system that gives me uh, the kind of encouragement to come back again and again to it. Uh, industry involvement is more important for the uh, Institute to have specialized courses on industry needs so that uh, the industry will get industry ready professionals from the college directly instead of training them in the uh, after recruitment, uh, in the QES uh, World University Ranking published in 2019, uh, VAT Computer Science has uh, got a place in top 500 among the universities in the world. In the World University Rankings 2020 by subject, uh, published by uh, Times Higher Education uh, UK, uh, our computer science has reached a top 400 among the universities in the world. Our faculty members are highly qualified and experienced with PhD qualification. They are actively engaged in delivering the high standard, uh, high standard uh, teaching but all, and also in doing the outstanding research in the cutting edge technology areas such as artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, quantum computing, edge computing, natural language processing, blockchain technology, cyber security and so on. So this is helping our students also to be part of with our faculty members in doing research jointly with our faculty members. Course components are divided into lectures, practicals, and a project component. Students, what they learn in uh, lecture hours and also in practical hours, they are going to apply it for the real world problems through projects. Every course will be having J component project. It is not like for just uh, you are completing a course, you have to uh, study and then you have to just uh, write everything on the paper and you are getting marks or something like that. It will go out from your mind very easily. But if you do the project, and you implement all the concepts then it will be fine it will stick in your mind forever so that's the uh, innovation that we are having in our university every course is start in that mode only uh, we have a lot of uh, faculties who are uh, very open to help us i could go to anyone's cabin and uh, 
ask them for help and they are open with a smiling face. We have uh, MOUs with a lot of foreign universities and not only the faculties are benefited, even the students they actually visit to these universities uh, as a six month project, a capstone project. So they stay there at the university for five to six months and then they come back and present their work here. We have like special kind of uh, trending mechanism which we even call like recent trends that is incorporating in all the subjects where faculties are inviting the corporate like corporate officials whatsoever the quarter cadre may be like from top head to the bottom level we would make them to interact with the students we would make them to understand what is the layer mechanism of the corporate how can you tune yourself according to the aspects required by the Corporate. We invite the people from uh, IT industries like uh, Cisco, IBM, Google, uh, Yahoo and so on uh, in, including Samsung and uh, they, they will come and deliver the guest lectures uh, periodically uh, on the cutting edge technologies and recent trends in uh, IT and so on uh, that is helping our students to understand what is going on in the industries, what kind of product development they carry out, how do they develop and test software and all those things. We get the latest technologies from Embedded. On, from Intel. We have a tie-up with Informatica who help us on with uh, data analytics tools. In updating curriculum, we are actually interacting with industry. We will invite the industry people and we will project them what we have right now and what we need to add further and they, based on their input and we will identify most important points to be implemented. So we are able to face the real world uh, more uh, comfortably and uh, with a clear point of view because that is what students we expect uh, just living in a virtual world and not knowing what really happens out there is not going to help us so this has really helped us in um, many ways for the placement especially and also we have the urgent professors from many countries in the world at present we are having 49 urgent professors uh, from top premier institutes in the world like um, uh, USA, UK, Australia and Germany and so on and uh, they will come regularly here we are expecting them to stay here for a minimum of three months and the, the, some of them are staying even six months or nine months also so the professors who come over for a good period of time they come over here they be with VIT they be with scope they uh, help our students to get trained on with the technologies and with the tools they teach for a semester over here and uh, that actually helps our student to get in touch with the faculties abroad and uh, once they get in touch with the faculty again they apply for a good internship abroad number two and number three they try to uh, get a good job abroad as well as a good phd or a research work abroad our syllabi and curriculum are based on the uh, recommendations given by the acm and ieee and if you look at the curriculum part uh, the curriculum is integrated with the practical and project component uh, so this is helping our students to be industry ready so some students what they do is uh, they take uh, multiple courses the concepts for multiple courses and they apply uh, to, uh, to a particular uh, project uh, that is a multidisciplinary project uh, they create and uh, mostly the output are uh, publications they, where they publish in uh, various conferences and also in uh, journals. I was more into the technical stuff so it was into my uh, set of uh, thoughts the area of interest I was able to go, uh, pick other, another course from another department and learn them so I chose uh, entrepreneurship development. So I was able to develop a marketable product ideas. We have so many specialized laboratories. Uh, since we are having a lot of specialization programs in IoT, data science, AA, ML, uh, cyber security and so on. Uh, we have started many laboratories with those specialization areas. And uh, we, have, we have installed uh, the latest uh, workstations and desktops uh, to meet the requirements of the students. VAT provides and supports uh, various state-of-art computing facilities for uh, research and academic purposes like computer engineering lab, data analytics lab, machine learning and artificial intelligence lab, information security lab, cloud computing and mobile computing lab, and image processing and graphics lab. VIT is always one step ahead because when it comes to infrastructure, the, our labs and uh, the hardware and uh, all the uh, facilities that they provide us, it's top notch. Actually the quality and infrastructure that we have in VIT is unmatched and being in the top 5 to 10 colleges as far as India is concerned, uh, when I look for capability in terms of uh, 
uh, full stack development uh, for and regarding any of the infrastructure that is concerned for the full stack development it is readily available in VIT and that brings me here for uh, the third time uh, within a year to make sure that I get the necessary uh, quality ahead of others. Yeah, so this, if you look at, uh, you know, every IT industry is visiting our campus and uh, we are also visiting the IT industries uh, in the form of internship or uh, industrial visit and also in, um, in some other uh, collaborative manner. Uh, so this kind of association or strong connectivity with the industry is helping our students to get the uh, better uh, placement opportunities with a higher salary package. They give us a freedom to carry out the funded project. So we are able to get some good, uh, I'm actually now focusing on my fourth uh, funded project from ISRO. It is all real-time projects. And also our uh, faculty members have uh, projects uh, that are supported by DST, uh, Department of IT, uh, INSA, uh, CSIR and so on. So these help us to also work in the projects that are needful, that are uh, useful to the society. The technical answers for real-time problems. So the real-world problems, what we have day-to-day, -day, needs a major support. And uh, the curriculum actually supports the student in looking into the real-time phenomenon, real-time challenges, what they have, what the people feel and how the students can take up some good projects in catering to the need of the society. I am more glad uh, to put out that uh, the projects what the student carries out even though maybe looking like a small hobby but actually it helps them to come up with the real-time ventures. So they take up some good projects related to the motivating the society on uh, fields like uh, healthcare where uh, people are do really a uh, day-to-day need helping the disabled coming up with a uh, mobility support for the disabled for the blind people i am doing right now the project for uh, autism development so uh, a diagnosis for autism development it is for uh, kids they are in the below age group of two to three years before going for uh, school we can diagnose those things through with the help of our equipment so this is our idea i got it uh, vit fund through that right now i am working with uh, hospitals in velour and bangalore if it is good if it is going good i can get a patent through that one of our btech student actually he has taken a problem statement given by the samsung for uh, indoor navigation system for the blind people so what he has done actually he's, he has developed a so, I mean, stick which is mounted with a sensor and uh, high uh, precision camera so what it will do it will actually identify the different objects present in inside the room and it will help when a blind people walks and he, it will actually immediately it will help and say what are the objects in front of the blind people and the distance between the objects and also it is because of the uh, research labs and the fundings and how they develop you as a person as a whole so the labs are all very 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 nice and the infrastructure is amazing and the co-curricular activities the faculty to student ratio is also very nice and the fundings that vit gives and it, uh, if you want to be an entrepreneur they uh, you can give them the idea and they will fund you also so you can actually have a startup before you graduate and the second project i'm doing with uh, uh, ministry of uh, small and medium school uh, medium scale industry it is for helping farmers the those are in car board it is for uh, uh, like uh, coconut uh, farmers we are uh, going to create website for uh, data analysis purpose so throughout india any people who are in uh, in the field of uh, car port they can get this uh, these type of uh, websites and through that uh, they can uh, get idea of how their business can be improved to come up on the outcome of the tarp the students do come up with a good product innovation which helps them to become a very good entrepreneur. Most of the projects they apply for a patent. So they come up with a research publication in a very good Scopus index and high citation index based journals. Number two. Number three, they try to come up with a, again a project funding which they take up for an international projects. Number three. And number four, when they apply for their placements, again, this gives them a high weightage. Yeah. So this is a few of the outcomes of TARP. I am a faculty coordinator for a club named Developer Student Club, VIT Value. In our club, we are running a two-credit course. Every year, we used to run a two-credit course. And also, we used to conduct a lot of hackathons, ideathons, 
workshops and seminars, expert seminars, all those things we used to uh, conduct every year. And Google is the main sponsor uh, for our uh, club. A team uh, has gone to UK and they have uh, won third prize in that particular event. Around 2,772 participants are there in that particular event. Out of that, uh, they got third prize. And actually, it is a tie between two teams. The other team, if you see that the members are working professionals. But here, if you see in the Developer Student Club, VIT Velu, all of them are students. So, I am in one of the most uh, prestigious chapters in VIT that is a technical chapter IEEE SSIT and I joined this chapter in my first year and so this chapter organizes uh, various hackathons like the most important hackathon that we organize is Hack for Cause it ha it in like the number of students that participate is more than 1200 and it's a basically 36 hours event and we work on that and it was a very good experience. Uh, preparing for placements faculty helped me a lot. The good thing was about uh, I got a super dream placement in Deutsche Bank as a data scientist. So I'm really looking forward to that role. Uh, Deutsche Bank gave me this placement opportunity both in, uh, it might be in Pune or Bangalore. But after studying VAT, I, uh, I knew that both Pune and Bangalore are just going to be the same. Because I met people from Pune, I met people from Bangalore. I've been the same to most of them and I know the languages they speak, the manners they are, the culture they are so it's going to be very easy for me to embed inside their culture. They don't really bother about okay this is your limited fund, no. They say infinity is your fund. That really motivates us. We don't get, uh, let me say, we don't feel like okay we are having our hands crunched upon. So whenever the faculty members get any notification on the developmental activities like workshop or uh, training programs that are happening in IITs or NITs or even some uh, leading IT industries, IT industries, our uh, school encourages the faculties to participate in the activities and to develop the knowledge. And these exposure help us in revising the curriculum quite often that meets the cutting edge technologies. So in this way we have introduced many new courses like uh, R programming or blockchain, blockchain technology or uh, digital forensic and many other courses. So every time when we approach the management for new courses and for the development of the faculty and every time we are getting more than enough funds from the management and more than enough support from the management for starting the new courses and updating our faculty knowledge. These young minds are putting, uh, putting their uh, thought process together and they are coming out with the novel ideas and uh, products. This uh, VAT involves experts from uh, academic institutions industry and various research centers to nurture our students. I have seen many students turn out to become very successful and remarkable entrepreneurs. A good number of them are in premier institutions worldwide pursuing higher studies and the rest are at top-notch industries to work for and they quickly grow up the corporate ladder. And uh, in the beginning when I joined college I thought I wouldn't make it quick and I, like no I'll go with the crowd I won't be like noticed but then things changed thanks to my faculty and my friends. VIT is like uh an ocean of opportunities like there are lots of if you want to uh, do in your do good in your academics like there are so many facilities uh, the infrastructure the clubs the chapters um, I mean it's very good like there are foods available for international students you know so yeah so if someone is planning to venture into the field of computer science, I think VIT is the best place to be because there are many specializations being offered here like data science, information security that currently I am a part of and like many more I guess IoT, machine learning and all. We have an exposure to all these branches and uh, we have uh, the VIT institute also has linked to many foreign universities which expose you to interact with other people of people of other nations too so i guess if someone is planning to join computer science field this might be the best university that one can get into i am able to take charge of my life now obviously like it's, pre it's preparing me from my future life yeah first when i thought of making films everyone gave me a frown 
but actually that was a turning point for me in my life so it's in the same way you will be interested in swimming you will be interested in art vit has opportunities for every extracurricular activity is just out there you just have to step out being an introvert is not going to help you but just uh, thinking that you are doing well in academics will uh, make you come out of your shell is not going to happen you can do academics in the same time going extracurricular also will help you in your career so that's what i would like to say we have been extremely extremely satisfied with the quality of students whom we get and in fact this year we have made a record offer of more than 100 people uh, from uh, VIT as such. And that is itself is a testimony of uh, the quality of uh, people uh, that we are getting from VIT. So my mom, is uh, she's also a software engineer and she's the CEO of a company that makes softwares for colleges and schools. So she travels all over India and mostly even to other countries and she goes through the campuses. And uh, uh, once she came and uh, she visited VIT and then she told me this is like one of the best colleges I've ever seen in India. It has like very great infrastructure and you should see the resources that they have. So she told me to work hard to get into VIT because it was like the best in India. Mm -hmm.